Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of No Thank You. So last time, um, we got Hiroyuki's good ending, and it's not really that good, but <laughs> I guess everyone lived in it, so that's, well, not everyone. Shindo didn't live, but everyone we liked lived in it. Did we like Yamato? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, um, we're gonna start a new game because, as one of my informants have told me, my boyfriend, he he told me that um, I should replay Hiroyuki's route, just skip all the dialogue, <laughs> and um, I get to hear all of Haru's thoughts on everything, on what he's doing, and how he wasn't so clueless after all, so let's get into it. I'm gonna skip anything repeated, so don't be shocked when it seems like we're jumping around a lot. Alright. Well, this is blue, so skip, skip. Okay, guys, so it finally stopped skipping, although it didn't look like... All of this was stuff I'd seen before. Apparently that chapter zero was, um... We had seen that in... Was it the bad ending or the good ending? Well, we saw it in one of the endings. So that's why it was blue, even though... It didn't seem like we'd seen it before. We had. We had seen it. And now we're in some apartment somewhere. <laughs> it doesn't have any space for cards, so I don't have a driver's license or any membership cards in it. What is he talking about? I only have my little wallet with some uh, yen in it. Okay. There isn't any identifying information on my phone either. On the off chance that this location is discovered, it won't be a problem. Shouldn't be. Um, okay, I guess we can skip again, maybe. Interesting. Okay, so... Well, that's interesting. So we even had our own place, but we just decided to... Um, after getting hit by... What's-his-face? I don't know. After saving what's-his-face from getting hit by a car, we just decided to pretend to have amnesia. Interesting. Should I click no thank you? I don't... I don't know. I don't remember. I'll just leave it there. It was like someone flipped a switch and time started moving slower. Time stopped stopping superpowers. Sure would be handy. But I don't have anything quite that useful. This happens to me a lot when I sense danger. I've become more cognizant of it lately. It's like what people call the zone or the flow. Interesting. I've got a lot of experience with this, but this style of approach is unfamiliar. Hmm. Wait, he's aiming at me, but why? Doing things that could run me over... Doing things that could get me run over by cars is something. Interesting. As the scene advances frame by frame, thoughts flash through the back of my mind. In situations like this, if I don't process looking and thinking and moving separately, I won't make it in time. Okay. Wait, let's... I feel like some of this dialogue I don't want to be skipping, so I can get some context. <laughs> um, let's see, I understand the target is a few paces ahead of me, a burly broad figure. Okay. Yeah, so he was just the target of the guy trying to run him over. If Naramiya's withdrawn, I should probably get out of here too. So that was Naramiya doing that? Interesting. I guess he was creating some situation to bring us together with, with Pops? Okay, interesting. Oh. See... Every goddamn time in this game, you're supposed to click no thank you. If you do not wish to destroy a flag, continue reading without pressing the button. Sometimes not pressing is the correct choice. That has never been the correct choice. Not even once, game. That has never been the correct choice. It's lying to us. Oh my god. Oh my god, oops. Oops. But it has never been the correct choice. Why is the game lying to us? We don't understand. 
every time no thank you pops up, I had to click it or someone died. Or I got a game over. Oh, what a crunching glass shattering noise. Huh. This game loves to lie. Okay. It's just a black screen and music. Can I click? Is that not supposed to be a black screen? <laughs> Is there supposed to be something happening there? That's so strange. We also got that in the good ending, too, where it was just a black screen and nothing was happening on it, but there was music. That is so strange. Hmm. Well, we can keep on skipping, and I'll, of course, let you come back later. Okay, so it seems like, um... It seems I'm just gonna have to always, like, open back the log so I can get some context on the new dialogue. Which makes sense, I guess. Let's see, um... Let's see, I really wanted to give him a nice squeeze, but we only just met, so I'll refrain. Hmm. I asked, pointing at my armband, thinking he might want to see the scar. Um, good, it worked. Now he won't pay attention to my arm and leg wraps, and I'll probably let me change by myself. Interesting. Well, I guess that's why he said all that, so that, um... <laughs> Hiroshi wouldn't notice his... Tattoos and maybe his scars. I don't. I don't really get that. Cause I remember back in in the good ending when Hiroshi saw his tattoos, they were talking about scars, but I didn't see any scars on Haru. I was so confused. He got tattoos, but no one was mentioning the tattoos. It was really confusing. It was almost like they just swapped out the word. Scars... No, it's almost like they swapped out the word tattoos for scars, and I was so confused. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I guess. I don't know. Um... Let's see... Yeah, we remember this guy. He's probably a junkie. It's less a physical sickness and more of a mental variety, I imagine. I've seen guys like him many times before. I love how we had to have real Haru come out and just call this man a drug addict. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, we know, we know. He has a sickly sweet rotten smell about him, like someone on the verge of death. Okay, well, he seems like he's given up on life. I don't really like it. Yeah. Alright, Sunday, the bar is closed today. Does that mean he's going to be doing something super secret today? That he didn't tell us the first time? Okay, I guess we're having some car ride with Naramiya. I hadn't seen him for days, but Naramiya was cold as ever. Oh, he's having fun. That wasn't what he was asking about, but Naramiya wasn't the type to call me on it. Well, I did know what he was getting at, and he knows that I can give a proper answer, but... That's why I'm gonna talk about stuff I want to talk about. I keep accidentally cutting off their dialogue. I keep accidentally I have until the end of summer to bring back what I'm after. I haven't forgotten. I use my special privilege. That's the only reason I got a few months to do a job that should really only take a few days. The survivor will be promoted from property to staff, and may have one wish within that reason granted. It was my reward for winning the death games, death games, a long time ago. How many years has it been since then? I don't remember. What is this? What? Excuse me? <laughs> Death games? Is this Donkan Rompa? What's happening? Oh, Aww. 
あれって成宮の仕込みあ昨日もなんか来てたんだけどいいえ本社も関与していませんなるほど So someone else is after him Well if we're after him it's not really that crazy to think that other people might have it out for him too ああとなんか一人おっかない感じのがいたんだけどあれは何不明です戸籍上は大月リオスウェーデン人の母と日本人の父がいることになっていますが経歴を調べた限りおそらく別人のものでしょうどの程度手強そうですかうーん俺普通にやったら負けるかも他は大丈夫ねえ、who's the issue? <laughs> Hmm, who the heck is Ryo Otsuki? I cannot remember. But Hiroshi and Pops and Ryu are all so cute. I want to be friends with them. I really hope we can avoid having to do anything like that to them. Oh. They, they mean the white haired guy. <laughs> that, that's who Ryo is, right? Maybe? Bun Bun. Naramiya probably can't use that to investigate him, huh? なんかちょっと気になる感じだったから、今度は名刺もらっとくね。記者とか言ってたから。はい。あとは、ああそうそう、携帯持ってきた。おっさんにもらったやつ。それとこれ。I handed the phone and my dog tags to Naramiya. 俺が頭悪いからね。おっさんが心配して今朝電話番号とか入れてくれたんだけど、問題ない。The dog ties have a transmitter in them. Maybe he took them as an excuse to examine them, but it didn't seem that way. Either way, my cover shouldn't be blown. At most, I don't think he could have gotten anything beyond the fact that someone's tracking my location with it. I wonder if the transmitter was broken when they were engraved. Narami inspected the phone deftly when we came to a stoplight. You couldn't even tell from the way he moved that one of his arms was a prosthetic. What? Plus, getting in a taxi and driving off real fast all the time would look kind of weird. I hate carrying things anyway. I'll just forget to take it with me. He was never forgetting! He was just a criminal mastermind! So it's probably better that I don't need to have it on me. Narmia returned the phone to me and I put it in my pocket for now. I really hate the pokey feeling. I'm not very smart, so I'm not a very good liar. I'd like to have learned as little as possible about Pops, too, but I have some information left in the back of my mind about him from before I even knew I was coming here. It'd be a lot easier if the information would just evaporate like usual, but I guess I can't selectively erase memories after all. The informant who was trying to get in contact with the old man, that is. He had to die so I could switch places with him, but I guess he didn't need to after all. Playing the amnesiac idiot is a lot easier for me than being the mysterious informant, so I'm glad things turned out this way. If things had gone as planned, it'd be over already. He makes a good point. I guess it's times like this that I think maybe things happen for a reason. Come to think of it, this only happened because that informant got our info and was trying to pass it along to the old man. He's probably lucky that I got the job. If he hadn't died when he did, he'd have been dragged back to HQ and tortured so horrifically he'd wish he was dead. My old man doesn't have a shred of mercy for traitors or enemies. He's excessively cruel, but it's not an emotional thing. He wants to set an example. Anyone who sees what he does would instantly lose any desire to defy him. 
わかりましたどこでおりますか適当でいいよ探検して帰るから I've never had this much freedom outside before, so I want to explore all sorts of places while I can. <laughs> Narumiya's cold gaze was directed at me through the rearview mirror. Yeah, I know exactly what he wants to say, but it's not a problem. I have a plan. Um, now that he mentions it, I did forget to bring it to the bar yesterday. Oh, the dog tags turned out to be useful right away. You're so smart, Pops. Naramiya said, pulling up to the sidewalk. Incidentally, the numbers engraved on the sides of the tag in the first place were a combination of Naramiya's cell phone number and the HQ contact, but. I forgot which one was which. But I'll know once I try the numbers, so it's not a problem. Okay, let's get it. I shouldn't need to be at the bar until tomorrow evening, so it shouldn't be an issue if I walk around until the sun goes down today. Now then, should I go left or right? Huh. Well, can't wait to hear what other evil things he has to say. Um, alright. Um, we saw... Well, I saw... Haru Sprite in his apartment, um, in just his underwear, and you could see all his tattoos. Um, yeah, so that was interesting. So I guess they've been hiding that from us before. Um, but what are they talking about here? You probably wouldn't die from it unless you had a weak heart, but it'd probably a stun gun. I think I've seen someone hit with one of those before. I don't really remember all that well, though. Okay. Cool. Thanks for interrupting the skip session. Alright, we just walked, or ran into that shady-looking guy, the drug addict, Bun Bun. Um, but before Haru leaves, I should check out what Bun Bun was looking at. I peek into the mailbox for Pops, a, for Pops' unit. It was mostly spam and advertisements, but an envelope from a translation firm caught my eye. Pops in translation? He doesn't really seem to fit. I'm kind of intrigued. I'll ask Naramiya to investigate it when I give him Bun Bun's card. Come to think of it, maybe I should do this every day. Well... Alright, we're back at Narmia's taxi and we just made Hiroshi, you know, shoot his, shoot his goo. Narmia's taxi showed up after I called for it and I got in. Yeah. I pulled the hard drive from the bag and handed it to Narmia. I don't think the DVDs are a problem. This is from when, um... Uh, we were, we just raided that one place with all the DVDs and stuff, and we, like, tied up those guys. It was funny, and we had the gas mask, I guess. Oh, Narmi has said, attaching a cable to the hard drive and getting to work on something. This taxi sure has everything. The video started playing on the now system screen while I was thinking. Generally speaking, my memory is pretty bad, but for whatever reason, it just kind of hits me uh, when something like this seems like it might pose a problem, like some kind of animal intuition. Narmia didn't seem in any particular hurry as I explained everything that happened today in sequence. とりあえずこれ回収しといた方がいいかなと思って。そうですね。入手先についても調べてみます。じゃあこれどうしようか。いくら俺でも落としたとかは厳しいと思うんだけど。Pops would probably start to suspect me if I use an excuse like that. Though I have a feeling he already suspects me. そうですね。そうだ。Narmia seemed a bit surprised, but I'll manage somehow, right? So What's he talking about? 
先日及川の名刺をいただいた時に伺った話です乾の郵便受けに気になる封書があったとああ何だった水草や藻に関する論文の翻訳を依頼しているようですね熱帯魚関係の書籍も取り寄せていますから授業に関するものかもしれませんがが熱帯魚店の充実や拡大のためにしては専門的すぎる内容でしたふん。Is this when I can see the police sky, but why? <laughs> okay, so this is just when he pretended to get stun gunned, I guess. Okay, I skipped a lot. Oof. Damn, girl. Alright,、um, what are we supposed to do when Pops. So, Pops just got kidnapped, apparently. Okay. What are we supposed to do when Pops gets kidnapped? Hiroshi doesn't seem worried about saving him. It's kind of bugging me. Maybe Narumiya knows something. Maybe I should ask him. Okay. Alright, we just got in the taxi, I think? Did we?、Um, the taxi dropped. No, taxi dropped me off in front of my apartment. Okay. Took me about 30 minutes to leave Hiroshi's place, go straight to where Pops was being held, and capture poor little Kajima. Well, I don't think I'll be found out. I'll make something up to cover my tracks if anyone says anything. Interesting. Very interesting. Wait, what, what does he mean, though? I'm confused. It took me about 30 minutes. Wait, who's Kijime again? Whatever. Alright, that took a while. Maybe he looked into something after poor little Kijima escaped. Who is this? Koichi? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for worrying. See, I said bringing my face closer, I was thinking Ryu looked upset but didn't say anything. Okay. I thought he would have called Ryu before I got back. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess this is how、um, when Pops got kidnapped that one time, it got resolved immediately and it was kind of weird. <laughs> I guess that's how it happened. Let's see, that sure worked out nicely, huh, Pops?、Um, let's see. Oh, Koichi is Pops. Yeah, it seems like it was Kiji. See, I don't remember everyone's names and all their nicknames. I'm, I kind of, I'm, 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 I'm as stupid as Haru. Oh, right, I forgot all about that too. Okay. Alright, I think we're confronting the mom for being a terrible mother right now. <laughs>、uh, she's talking about how great the food be. Yeah, it'd be good. Well, that's because it is a dream. That's what they do to get livestock for their shows to look pretty before they kill them. Oh my god. Let's see, it's too bad I won't be able to do it for a year. When I'm gone, Hiroshi might have to take over, or Ren Ren maybe. Hmm. Let's see. For what specifically? Hiroshi said I'd hate to do it after a year. Oh, I think something about losing the contest, something about sardines. Yeah. Alright, as you can see, it says chapter 4 up there, and I flopped in the taxi as it drove along. <sighs> and this is, of course, after the resolution of the whole mom and squirt thing. Well, the first resolution, I guess, because things got bad again afterwards. Oops, wrong button. Narmia asked, not because he wanted to know, but because he knew that that's what I wanted to hear. He's an intelligent, sentimental man. Summer's going to be over soon. I have to go back. But I have to get my hands on the thing I'm after. I want Pops and everyone to be happy and healthy. What do you do? 
いつだって選択肢は2つです。Do it or don't it? I know that. 俺死んじゃおっかな。I'm prepared for that. I wouldn't mind if I came here, developed feelings for someone, and became unable to put myself first. Um, but that's kind of what happens, and then you did mind. I think I'd be a lot happier that way than continuing to live on over, over there. But the problem is. I know all too well that delaying isn't going to solve anything. I stared out the window as I sighed. Cannons? Summer and festival fireworks go hand in hand. Even I know that. I peered out the window, but I didn't see any festivals or anything. I like to go watch the fireworks. Summer means fireworks in Yukata too. I'll go invite someone. Someone. I guess they have to put someone because you can be on any route. Heroes! Alright, this is, um, let's see, after we had broken into the Yakuza place and gotten. The laptop, I believe, because we were trying to convince Yamato that Pops wasn't such a bad guy. Or something. Well, I had Naramiya handle the password analysis and checking the books, but... But I totally helped out. I just told Hiroshi that I happen to know someone who's good at cracking passwords, and he didn't pry much. Hiroshi's really easy to deal with in these situations. Let's see, I don't have much time left, after all. I'll do it for tired, poor, depressed. Her Wait. <laughs> what? He's about to give Hiroshi his. Um. Somnophilia BJ. And we get the real Haru coming in being like, I don't have much time left after all. So. I already sort of went through the good ending with all the extra narration from Hiro and Haru, I think, so... Should I go through the bad ending now with them? So I guess I will not click no thank you. So I think the game is completely bugged out for the credit scenes. <laughs> it's just always a black screen and I don't know why. It didn't used to be like this. I don't know what happened, but this is how it is now. Uh, just a black screen with some music, no credits. Um, okay, so, uh, apparently there was no extra dialogue for the bad ending, which makes sense. Um, he was already kind of acting, um, he already kind of revealed who he was in the bad endings, pretty much, so. That makes sense, so I didn't show anything. I skipped through everything. Um, but yeah, I was hoping to learn more about the organization that Haru's from. But I didn't really, I just sort of learned that he was sort of scheming a little bit behind the scenes. Um, so I'm a little disappointed by that. Um, but I can guarantee 100% without a doubt that every time the no thank you button showed up, at least in Hero's route, I had to click it every time or else someone died. Or I got a game over. Okay? Literally, I had to click it every single time. So, I don't know. I guess that's... Is that intentional? I don't know. I'm not sure. Either way. Um, see, it just, it just goes from a black screen to the main menu. <laughs> anyway. Um, if I ever come... I hope the other routes maybe talk about somehow will explain more about Haru's secret organization. Have I mentioned that I think someone told me that 
in the comments for one of my videos that the organization that Haru's from and the one in room number nine are the same. Someone said that. I don't know if I don't know if I mentioned that yet. Um, so I was curious to learn more about it. So I hope in the other routes you can. I don't know. If I were to play another route, I'd probably play Pops. Um, yeah. It would, I don't know how much of it, the dialogue is repeated in each route, but... Hmm, maybe. I'll, I'll think about it. I will think about it. Um, but that is all for now, for no thank you. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.